This week on Paladin's Top 5 Plays, Devastating Ultimates, Pinpoint Precision, and, uh, no Androxus. Maybe we'll see something a little bit different. Of course, my name is Vox, and let's get ready to see sparks fly. Truly the master of your destiny. There's a common assumption that, at best, Ceres is, uh, somewhat brisk. But one thing's for sure, she's certainly mastered the art of bringing people together. Some champions just have a knack for it. Nice teamwork, by the way. There will be no laughter when you are sentenced to death. No, with voice lines like that, it's Lex who's the real giggle of parties. But they are a good flank. An initial pressure on Ceres forces Shadow Travel and removes the enemy support from the team fight. Lexecution is ready, finds the double kill. Commencement heal, post combat slide with Illusory Rift turns the table on Eevee. And Ceres, though, proves to be a tougher cookie and forces Lex back to safety. Attempting a loop around, Lex narrowly avoids convergence and after a couple of missed shots, finds the final kill for our rampage as respawns are returning. Diggs, what do you think of our chances? Oh, well, let's just keep that to ourselves. Cassie on defense finds themselves outnumbered. Slightly less now, but the payload still approaches conversion. Dodge roll forwards, Bomb King dispatched with bonus damage to the double kill. Reset missed, no worries. Scout's movement speed bonus lets Cassie run rings around the payload. Refocus to Saris, disengage, cast them aside in a series of well-executed exaction buff shots. Clean up the rest with ease. Double, double. Good hold. You dishonor yourself by fleeing. Stand and face your death. Ah, Zin at last makes their way to the show. And reversal means you're not dealing damage, Androxus. Victor cut down, but surviving through their flak jacket. 2,000 damage, not quite enough. Smolder during Billa resets Zin's health and allows for a backline dive to finish the kill. Reset their cooldown and dissipate away from danger, although not too far. Eyes on the aerial prize, targets swapped from Androxus to Drogos. You'd think the Drake to be more fireproof, but that's certainly not the case. A moment of brief respite grants a reload. Androxus focused again, but proves to be a slippery target, and actually forces Billow from the air to disengage. Respawn's returning, under pressure, Zin dives for a healing totem, and with counter, ready, blocks an incoming shot to reset their health once again. The enemy reconvenes, and Droxus ults. Zin draws their fire with slashes and whirl, and Billow keeps them safe from the remaining shots. Victor returning to the fight proves an easy task after the pesky Androxus is evaporated. Once again, the lizard braves a tunnel of flames, or rather a dome shield of flames, is swiftly finished off by architectonic turrets, doubling down on lizard slays. And Fernando in overtime? Oh, but an afterthought. Rampage for Zin. Victory. For the team. Sorry, kitten. You wouldn't last a day on my streets. And for our top spot this week, it's a Lex Pentakill Execute. I'm just kidding you. This one's somewhat more tricky. Androxus pixieing in the back line, miss pounce, miss play, but the favor is swiftly returned. Lex 2 has found the way in, but whilst in pursuit locks on, it lacks damage, and that's certainly something that double daggers do not. Ceres locked in a 1v1 with Maldamba, Maeve dashes to the rescue, pounce missed again, but a quick 180 flick snags a triple kill, and Makoa is danced upon as they attempt to retreat, but fall for the quadra kill. One remains, and Drogos is oblivious. One, two, five in a row. These blades were made for slicing. Thank you all for watching this episode of Paladin's Top 5 Plays. To submit your own plays, check out the YouTube video description and fill out the submission form to show us what you're made of. Don't forget to subscribe to receive the Onyx Stallion mount skin in-game as well, and we'll see you next time.